Hey everybody, welcome to the Spark Youth YouTube channel. It's Maria, and for today's video, I'm going to be creating a piece showing solidarity for what's going on in the Ukraine. So I hope you all enjoy. So the materials that I use to create this piece are, first I have a glass jar and some paintbrushes. Next I have light refined linseed oil, and this is used to thin down any thick oil paint that I have. Next I have Gamblin Gamasol and this is paint thinner. This is to clean the paint off your brushes. Next I have an 8 by 10 inch canvas. Then I have a acrylic paint palette. Next I have Gamblin Radiant Turquoise Oil Paint. Utrecht Titanium Yellow Oil Paint. Yellow Green. Windsor and Newton Quinacridone Magenta Oil Paint Blick Cadmium Yellow Oil Paint Then lastly, I have Burnt Sienna So to start off, I'm basically just getting everything ready and first what I'm doing is I'm taking my Burnt Sienna and I am just I didn't even draw it down in pencil because I wanted to, I don't know, just not have to use a pencil this time. I thought I would give it a try just to kind of freehand and sketch in with the Burnt Sienna oil paint. And it actually came out looking really nice. <laughs> in my opinion, I thought it came out looking really nice. And I'm just kind of um, drawing out a sunflower and so i guess some background about this piece is um i decided to do a sunflower because um it's ukraine's national flower and i thought it would be really pretty to paint one and i'm also going to be adding some blue and yellow to this piece there's a lot of blue and yellow so i'm also using that for um to symbolize, you know, and show solidarity for the Ukraine. But anyways, as I was looking up references and just some inspiration to help me create this painting, um, I found out that there were a lot of photos of like very beautiful, lush landscapes and lots of nice scenery. And I found a lot of um, sunflower fields. So obviously I took a lot of inspiration from that. But also I wanted to make this painting feel very light and I don't know, almost like kind of like a summery kind of warm day. Um, but yeah, very lighthearted and kind of just highlighting the beauty of the Ukraine. And I also thought it would be a good idea to focus on all the positives and all the beauty that the Ukraine has to offer and to also represent that things will get better but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my little explanation about my painting <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm almost done almost finished with it and here it is here is the final piece and I know it looks kind of really red but I don't know why my camera made it look super red um, but it's not that red. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. One other thing to mention is for this month's challenge, we want to help spread peace and show our support using our artistic talents. Art is a universal language that we can all use to communicate. How can you create an artwork that shows peace? I'll be sharing ideas throughout the month, including Ukrainian symbols and items unique to their culture that may inspire your art. So if you have your own idea, go for it. Your artwork can be centered around peace for the Ukraine or peace in general. Only artwork submitted to the comment section of this post will be used as entries for this challenge. This challenge is only for community members under 18. We will be voting 
throughout our social media pages and there will be one winner who will receive an art prize valued at a thousand dollars follow our social media pages to stay in the loop don't forget to like and subscribe and check out www.sparketh.com for full online art courses where kids and teens can learn from home if you would like to learn more and show support for the ukraine i have listed a few links below bye everyone <laughs>